Hi everybody and welcome to subdomain enumeration. Today we are going to do some subdomain enumeration, so finding subdomains for a uh, domain. Uh, we are going to use a uh, domain or our, our target domain is of course a domain provided by a try hack me and we're going to use um, three methods which are brute force, OSINT and virtual host. Now we get to use some tools which are DNS recon, sublister and FFUF. So, Let's begin. So let's answer some uh, some uh, questions uh, real quick. So what is a subdomain enumeration method beginning with B? And that will be brute force. Uh, what is a subdomain enumeration method beginning with O? And that will be OSINT. And what is a subdomain enumeration method beginning with V? And that will be virtual host. There you go. And now let's move on to the next uh, task. So what domain was logged on cert.sh at the date we see right here? So we need to go to cert.sh and search for the domain name tryhackme.com, right? Uh, so let's do that. And we type tryhackme.com and we can uh, sort uh, sort by log that. So let's click on log that. And the date was uh, the 26th of December 2020. So let's scroll down a bit and see if we can find it here. Let's see. There you go. So here is our answer, store.tryhackme.com. Okay, so let's go back in here and type it in, store.tryhackme.com. And we submit, perfect. And now let's see what we need to do in the next uh, task. So what is the tryhackme subdomain beginning with uh, S discovered using the above Google search? Okay, so we need just need to go to Google and search for this right here. So we can just copy it real quick. And let's paste it here and press on enter. And here is our answer. So store.tryhackme.com. Okay, so let's, uh, let's go back and answer the question. Store.tryhackme.com. And we submit, perfect. And now, uh, what is the first uh, subdomain found with the DNS recon tool? Uh, okay, so let's find out. So let's click on view site. And as we can see, they, they've already, uh, you know, they, they already have the command prepared for us. So the only thing we need to do is just run the command by pressing the button right here, right? Uh, but let's just before we press the button and answer the question, just let let's just you know look at the command real quick and just break down what we are seeing. So the command starts with DNS recon, of course. Uh, then we need to uh, you know uh, specify what type of enumeration we want to perform, right? So so we use the uh, the um, T option followed by the type. Uh, BRT uh, because you know we are you know trying to brute force, right? Uh, so, so BRT is the type followed by us specifying the, the uh, target domain, right? Uh, so the target domain is acmeitsupport.thn. So to specify, you know, uh, what domain we are targeting, we begin with, uh, you know, with um, the, the uh, option that we have right here, followed by the domain name, okay? So let's let's run the command and answer the question and here is our answer right api dot uh, acme it support dot dhm okay so let's type that in so api dot acme it support dot dhm and we submit perfect and now let's move on to the next uh, task what is the first subdomain discovered by um, 
sublister. Uh, so we click on view site here. And again, they have the command prepared for us. So we don't need to type everything in ourselves. So we can just click on the run button right here. Uh, but before we do that, let's look at the command again and break down what we are seeing. So we start by uh, typing in this. So uh, dot forward slash sublister uh, dot pi and followed by us specifying the uh, the domain we are targeting which again is acme it support.dhm so we start by using the um, the the option followed by the domain name okay so let's run the command and here is our answer right here right so let's type it in so web 55 dot acme it support dot thm and we submit perfect and now let's close this window and move on to the final task uh, what is the first subdomain discovered uh, okay so first we uh, need to um, start the virtual machine and the attack box so let's do that Now let's open the terminal and we begin by typing in the command that we see right here. So uh, ffuff, then we need to add the path to the uh, word list that we are going to use. So so uh, so we start by using the, um, the uh, input option w, right, to specify the, the word list we are going to use. So w. Uh, followed by the path to the word list file on the attack box, right? So what we see right here, all of this, right? So let's begin. Word lists, let's see. And then discovery, let's see, discovery, and then DNS, and name list. Let's see, name list dot uh, text, like this. Perfect. And uh, then we need to specify an HTTP request header. In our case, it will be the host header. So we start by using the uh, HTTP option H, so H like this, followed by double quotes. Uh, and inside the double quotes, we begin with the name of the header, which is host. So we type in host, uh, then colon, then the fuzz uh, keyword, place where a uh, subdomain is supposed to be followed by the main domain, which is acmeitsupport.thm, right? So acmeitsupport.thm, like this. And we finally need to specify the target URL. So the URL of the domain that we want to check for uh, subdomains. Uh, so we start by using the HTTP option uh, U, like this followed by the IP address of the Acme IT support website. And then we type 10 and 10. And let's see, 76 like this. Okay. And we press enter. Oops. Perfect. Okay. So far, so good. So now, uh, try hack me. You know, is asking us to uh, to uh, look through the responses and see what response size is most occurring, and, and filter it out. Uh, you know, and filter out all of the responses with that particular size. Now, if we look, uh, if we look. Um, at the sizes of the many responses uh, uh, 
uh, we got, we see that the most occurring size is, uh, you know, uh, 2,395 bytes, right? So the reason TriHack me wants us to filter out these responses is because it, it looks like they're false positives, you know, they might be false positives, right? So indication of, of you know, responses that might be false positive is just like, you know, what we see here. Uh, we have all of these responses, you know, with the same size, uh, words uh, and lines, right? Everything is, you know, the same all the way, right? So uh, to filter out all of the responses with that size, we use the exact same command we used uh, moments ago or, or a moment ago, but we'll add just a little more to the command. We will need to specify what response size we want to filter out from the, you know, from the um, results. Uh, so we start by first scrolling all the way down and bringing back the command that we just used. There you go. And what we are going to type in now is just um, FS, you know, the, the filter option FS like this, followed by the response size we want to filter out, which we found out is 2,395, right? So we type in. 2395 and then we just press enter and here is our first answer and here is our second answer right so let's uh type that in so delta and yellow perfect so we are done with this room so thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed the video and found it helpful i would really really appreciate it if you gave the video a thumbs up and of course make sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos on try hack me cybersecurity, and ethical hacking thank you guys for watching and i'll talk to you next time